What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm excited to be one of the first people to actually get my hands on this Xnet XP6 and make a video for you guys. So what I'm going to do is a couple videos. First we're going to do an unboxing, then I will do a possible setup video, and then a one week earning, one month earning, just so you guys can see what the potential of this $200 device is. Now, I did have Xnet on the channel, the team, to talk about their product and the crypto space in general, as well as I did make a general overview of the Xnet uh, project. So if you guys are interested in those, those will be linked up here so you guys can check those out. And the cool thing about getting these devices is for a limited time, you're going to be able to get 2,000 of their token, the Xnet tokens, when you purchase and deploy this XP6 Pro anywhere in the US. There's no deployment restrictions as of right now. So that's a really awesome deal. Uh, the token price is, I'll have it right here. It's pretty decent. So it's a, it's a pretty good chunk of money uh, just for buying this device that you get back instantly uh, after your first rewards cycle. So I think it takes a week and then you can get your rewards for that. Then you can sell them, keep them, whatever you wanna do with that. So we got two different cables here. We got one patch cord that's three foot and one that's 10 foot. This one obviously is going to be connecting right to your PoE injector, uh, to your router, and then this one would be connecting to your PoE injector to the device wherever you may put it. And let's take a look at this PoE injector, which was included in this kit, which I really like, only for $200. It's a really good deal. So I open this up and we got a standard power cord, three prong power cord, and the US connection. Uh, and then there's some specifications in the box with that card. And then for this device, it's super nice, super sleek, uh, and they kind of fit it all into one package. The power supply is within here as well as the LAN and the PoE. So you plug one end here, and then you have your outgoing for your PoE, which now has power and uh, internet capabilities powering out to your miner. So it's awesome. And then we have the actual device. So let's check this out from the outside. It's from Alta Labs Pro. It's called the AP6 Professional. Uh, and there's just some more information here about some warranties or whatnot. Made in Vietnam. So let's open this up. Awesome. All right. Let's go 0.5 here. And you can see we got the device. We have little foam packaging just to keep it safe. Go back to 1.0. And the device itself is super slim, super nicely crafted. Honestly, this is really nice. So on the back, after I took off this plastic cover, we got a 4x4 dual band enterprise access point. It looks like this is a, a heat sink uh, disbursement. You got a reset button. I think that's the only button on this device. And a little pocket cut out for the PoE switch. Uh, with Also, it looks like there's this little spot that I could... Ow, that really hurt my fingernail. That might be bleeding, but you can pop this out and run your cable through here. So this can mount flush to whatever surface you are mounting it on. It's not necessary in some cases, like if you have certain siding, you might not need to uh, do that, uh, but it gives you the option. So I can mount it completely flat to a surface. It also comes with, looks like a little guide in a bunch of different languages, safety information, so. I'm not really gonna read into that. And then we got this mount. So this mount would mount directly onto this device. However, it may work. It looks like it clips in actually, clips in like this. And then it, it clicks in. So let's take it out of the plastic. And when you push these in, now that's not going anywhere. So that's mounted, that's the first bracket. Then it looks like you have a whole bunch of hardware, which is nice. And then here would be the mount that you actually use to mount onto your siding. And then this would just clip on a certain way. So that's awesome. Pretty easy uh, unboxing, there's not a lot going on here. And then as for setting this up for the Xnet ecosystem, there is a dedicated guide that I will be going over to help you guys set this up. So stay on the lookout for that. All right, so now I'm at the point where I'm actually setting this up on my computer. There are some steps you need to take. So the first thing you need to do is plug it in and then the light will be blinking and then wait. It doesn't say how long you should wait, but I'd give it like five to 10 minutes so it can install some updates that are already on the device. 
and then it will show up in your Wi-Fi connectivity that you can connect to this device. Once you connect to it, then it is ready to be set up or once you can connect to it. But some things I just did want to point out, uh, this is a device that is advertised as being able to mount, obviously. Uh, it, in the best case scenario, you want to have it in places like this, commercial, commercial venues like cafes, restaurants and bars. You don't really want to have this thing outside. But if you have it in a location where it is uh, prone to moisture, it's not the end of the world. It does have an IP54 rating, which is substandard for what we have nowadays. Uh, with current phones, it's usually like IP68, which is like completely waterproof up to six feet for like an hour or something. So uh, it's not the end of the world, but you know, just keep that in mind if you're going to be purchasing one of these devices. Do not put these things outside. With that being said, in order to activate, you head over to activate.xnet.com and it redirected me to dot company here, or maybe it was this the whole time. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in the description below. And it says before you uh, begin the activation process, be sure you read the appropriate installation instructions for your hardware unit. So the first uh, page that did show up was it actually made me select which device I have. Now we're at the point where it is asking for all of the information relative to this device. So uh, in a situation where you rent, like for me in particular, uh, my rent, my lease is going to be up in a two months uh, or I guess three months actually. Uh, this is going to be something that I'm going to have to reach out to them and change because I'm going to be moving, obviously. Uh, but it's asking for your address uh, and then the serial number and the MAC address. Uh, it looks like it already pulled this serial number, which is interesting, um, as well as full name, uh, email address, Discord username, MetaMask wallet, and pictures of the installation. They want to make sure that you're not just leaving this sitting down on a table like mine is set up right now, which is nice because now I'm going to actually uh, try and mount this somewhere, maybe with some some tape, uh, some double-sided tape, but that's it. So I'm gonna go through setting all this up and let's see what the next steps are. All right, so after I submitted everything, let me just go through and show you guys. So it has all this information, I submitted it all. I did not upload installation photos. It didn't say it was required, but if I go over and do like Mac address and then click away, it says that is required. So some of this stuff absolutely is required and you gotta make sure you fill it in. I don't know the effect that these uh, radio insulation pictures have on this device in particular, but if you were to be installing one of the other more sophisticated devices, I think it would have some impact. So I got it all set up. I click submit and then it said your device has been activated and that's it. So I should be earning and in a week from now, I'll make a follow up video showing you guys my earnings. Hopefully it is substantial as well as that 2000 XNet token uh, reward that I should be expecting to get. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.